and I'm back. After a week hiatus, I missed you guys. Welcome to the show. This is your daily rundown on YouTube. Why? 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 It's happy hour. The creator of Westworld, Jonathan Nolan, has been set to direct the Fallout TV show on Amazon. Yo, Amazon is kind of like been getting some 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 names. I feel like they're trying to turn the ship around and stop trying to sell me bootleg B, B movies and actually get some good content. I mean, they do have more money than everybody else. Yeah, they, they, they do. <laughs> that holds up Yo. the internet. That holds up the majority of the internet with 99% yeah. uptime. So, I mean, if anybody can spend the money for the world's greatest creators, which they're not, mm -hmm. which is shocking to me. Right. You know, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. They, they, they claim to be a content company, but they're still a delivery company that holds up the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're trying to spend this money in some, when it comes to entertaining us, they're spending it in relatively good, good areas. Well, they're trying. I'm still not a huge super fan of Amazon Prime. Um, but you know, it's like one of those things. Since I pay for Prime and it's there, I mean, I'm gonna watch you know, what's you know, available. You know what I want them to do? What's that? People of color to come on and build their properties. Hey, but you know what? They they did get Childish Gambino, aka um, oh my god, I forgot his name. Um, Danny Glover. Oh, Danny Glover. Excuse Don, 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 Donald Glover. Danny Glover. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Hey, 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 yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a request oh, that's I'm saying that they can't hear you clearly, brother. All oh, right, they can hear go. me clearly now. I realized I didn't have a okay, microphone there we go. now. I was like, why am I so beautiful on this screen? I don't have a <laughs> microphone blocking my view. That's what it is. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Donald Glover and his ilk, mm -hmm. they do they have their show on Amazon. And now if you are a huge fan of the Fallout series, which has a relatively big cult follow. I don't even know if I would call it a cult following. It's just a follow. It's just a following. You know. Yeah, it's it's, it's solid fall, through and through. Did you play the Fallout games? Yeah, you know, I played uh I played what is it? 3 or 2 and then I played Vegas. I okay. didn't play the original and I did not play the uh the MMORPG version of it. I didn't okay. play that one. I think yeah, it's Fallout 76. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I kind of stalled out on that, but I do like the concept and just like the games the show is going to take place in an alternate timeline where a nuclear war between China and the US has left the world mm -hmm. a nuclear wasteland. So uh, remnants of humanity are going to emerge after the dust settles and new civilizations are going to begin to yep. form, often with quirky to 50 style aesthetics and technology. And that's the thing about Fallout is that part. You know, it's um, the, the pit boy. I think that's the name of the device that, that yep. you wear. Um, it's old, like 1950s style cartoons and 1950s mm -hmm. styles, kind of like technology mm -hmm. in a world that's obviously way ahead of that time period. But it's, it's, it's fun. I hope they keep that quirkiness of it all. Can I, can I say something about this, though, man? Yeah, I have it. never finished the Fallout game. I think I played 20 minutes of every Fallout game. You know, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I know why. Tell them why you're mad, son. Tell them why you're mad. Out the vault. They say go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I need direction. So, for example, Fallout 3, I went to Megatown. I think I unlocked mm -hmm. every mission before I even did a mission. Then I'm going right. to get some pills. So I'm walking through a supermarket, gunning down everybody, trying to kill everybody in the place. Running, you know, and it's hard to kill everybody in that place. People are like, oh, the pills went right when you walk through the front door. <laughs> I was like, where were the pills? I killed everybody in that place and then find not nary one pill. Mm. And I was like, this is why I don't play games like this. <laughs> and then I went back to Mega Town and then I decided to hit the button and it blew up and all the I watched all the missions and my mission log just disappear. I said, nah, I'm not playing this no more. I'm, <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm it's, over this. You know, but th those type of worlds, th those type of sandbox games, you know, it's it's you have to have a certain certain taste for it. You know, it's mm -hmm. not it's not for everyone. I can see that. Yeah, I, I, I like totally, direction. I can totally games. respect that. I like games yeah. saying, hey. You got to kill everybody and get to a boss. I don't like games saying, go anywhere you want to go. <laughs> it's open world. You'll be just fine. Because that's not uh, true. It's not right. true. <laughs> well, hey, man, what, what is true is that video game, um, uh, the video game culture is having a huge influence over our our tv over our uh -huh. movies i mean we've seen the uncharted movie um we're seeing is a super mario brother voice acted by chris pratt 
Um, we're yeah. seeing um, uh, this new Fallout game that that's coming out, The Last of Us. So mm -hmm. these stories that are being told in games, and this is your neck of the wood, they've been so good. The people that have been coming up with these storylines and the overall arcing stories that, you know, folks like Amazon Prime and people like HBO Max and all of these these big platforms um, are picking them up. And, and they're having like respectable people. Uh, that's that's helming these series like Jonathan Nolan is a is a very respectable creator director as well and he's going to be the showrunner uh one of the writers uh what's her name um um Geneva Robertson Duarte I think that's mm -hmm. how you pronounce her name uh she's come up she's written screenplays for Captain Marvel upcoming Star Trek films mm -hmm. uh she's done uh shows that include The Office uh Portlandia and Silicon Valley so you know, there's going to be, it sounds like there's going to be some humor and that that's good. Cause there's, there is some, some dark humor that goes along uh, with this, with this world with fallout. Mm -hmm.